Pope Benedict XVI has elevated 22 bishops as cardinals last weekend. The new cardinals will be among the Pope's closest advisors and be numbered among those who will elect his successor. Cardinals are the Pope's closest collaborators in the Vatican and around the world. They lead major archdioceses and run key Vatican departments that help the Pope decide church policy and doctrine that can affect the lives of Catholics worldwide. Among those elevated to the cardinalate was Cardinal George Arancheri of India. He is the fourth Malayali and tenth Indian to be elevated as cardinal. On his elevation as cardinal, Alan Cherry has become one of the three Indian prelates who have voting right in the Pope's election. At present, there are five cardinals in India, of whom two are above 80 years and hence do not have voting rights. Alan Cherry was the first major archbishop to be elected by the Synod after the Syro Malabar Church was elevated to the status of major archiepiscopal church. Our correspondent in Rome, Alessandro Speciale, was able to talk to the new Indian Cardinal. Archbishop Alenceri, how are your feelings on being created a Cardinal? Uh, I am really searching what I can do for the Church, especially the Church Universal, uh, since the Holy Father has created me Cardinal. But even at the time when I was elected major Archbishop, I told in interviews like this and also in my uh, conferences that I am a person who works not only for my own diocese, not only even for my own uh, Sui Judis Church, Sri Malabar Church, but for the whole church. Every Christian, every priest, every bishop should be like that, no? One is for the whole church. And now the Universal Church through the Holy Father is speaking that you have to do it. You have no other, no other option. We expect that you do work for the whole church. That way I understand very well. It was my vision and now it is officially um, proclaimed by the action of the Holy Father by creating me a cardinal. What are the main challenges for the Syro Malabar Church in India? The Sri Malabar Church in India um, is um, actually working in unison with uh, the two other Sui Juris churches. We cannot say that the Latin Church in India is a Sui Juris Church in itself because it is together with the Universal Latin Church. Uh, and so also the Sri Malabar Church in India is not only limited to India, it has its own faithful all over the world. Uh, we, of course, there is no comparison between the Latin Church and the Sri Church, but at the same time, the faithful are there. And we do have a diocese in the United States also, Chicago. And uh, it has to work also with the Sura Malankara Catholic Church. And we do have a, an understanding among ourselves, among these three Sui Jewish churches, more and more growing and uh, flourishing very well. And so my first duty is to create this communion of the three Sui Jewish churches in, uh, in the best way possible hereafter.